So just when I was happy for BOE securing a deal for iPhone 14 screens, they have massively messed up and now they're losing the deal they just had. And so let's delve into what exactly they did. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. So in case you don't know, BOE's been trying to secure a deal with Apple to, of course, produce new iPhone displays. Now this would be a win-win for both Apple and BOE because BOE gets to work with a massive company like Apple and gets a massive deal with them that's going to be a lot of money. But also, Apple is fed up with LG and Samsung charging high prices for their displays, and so BOE charging less would be very nice. However, the big issue for BOE has been passing the validation test because obviously to produce iPhone displays, they have to meet a certain requirement. And while BOE always fell short of that and kept failing this again and again and again. But this year at last, BOE actually managed to pass a validation test and secured a deal to produce regular iPhone 14 displays. And by the way, do you know BOE has been producing older iPhone displays, but this would have been the first time they were producing new iPhone displays that were about to launch. And so everything was going well, but in usual BOE fashion, they mess up at the last minute, and now they've lost a deal. So what exactly have they done? Well, they of course right now produce some iPhone 13 displays a few months after the release, However, they've been found altering some of the display components, namely the thin film transistors, without Apple's permission. Now, BOE was doing this to improve the yield rates, but changing the display without Apple's permission is a very risky move because obviously Apple has criteria to meet and the displays have to be a certain type. And so going behind Apple's back and changing these displays is a very, very, very bad move. And so clearly after this, Apple can no longer trust BOE to make new iPhone 14 displays. And so now they've lost all their orders and Apple's going back to the more expensive, but ultimately more reliable LG display and Samsung display. Now I'm praying that BOE can fix their reputation because they of course can produce cheaper displays and those savings could be passed on to us, the consumers. But if they keep messing up and Apple uses more expensive displays, that could result in price hikes. Then again, I guess many would be willing to pay the premium for displays that match Apple standards instead of a subpar experience. So yeah, there's that guys. But tell me in the comments below, do you think BOE has a chance of producing new iPhone displays in the future? Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the good above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.